All right. Okay. So um, welcome you all again. Good morning. Um, wherever you are, um, I hope you guys are safe and sound um, during this kind of weird time. We are in such a weird time, um, actually. Um, I hope you take care of each other and you have been well. Um, thank you for um, joining me um, this morning um, to um, learn together and we learn together in this session. Um, and the topics of today is the um, research data management for research. Basically, we're going to learn how to use Mandalay together. And I will let you know um, what Mandalay can do. My name is Kevalin. Um, I'm the customer consultant for elsewhere, Southeast Asia, especially Thailand. And um, basically, I um, share knowledge with the users like you guys. Um, I take care of a couple of solutions, including Mandalay Scopus and also Side Direct. Right. Um, today, I also have Kutbiya Tida with me. She is the librarian at the um, Kasesa University Library. Um, both of us are very welcome to help you guys um, today and later on also when you use this platform. And if you have any questions, just let us know and we try our best to assist you. All right, um, for um, today's session, um, I would like to go to the housekeeping first before we start the um, talking about our contents. Um, so for today, um, we are on webinar mode. Um, I don't know how many people are going to join, but um, just to keep it simple, right? Um, all your microphones are off. So if you would like to ask any questions, please feel free um, to ask in your Q&A, okay? If you have any technical problems, like you cannot hear me clearly, you cannot see the screen, or um, you would like to um, let me know that my, my voice is dropping or uh, my internet connection might has gone bad, um, please let me know in the chat box. Also, um, you can talk to each other on the chat box also, right? Um, it's the platform you can find new friends or find the collaboration. So, um, please feel free to use this opportunity. Um, we don't have opportunity to see each other face to face, but I, I hope this can be the alternative. Um, the question will be answered after the presentation, at the end of presentation. I try to answer all of your questions that you um, drop in the Q&A box. At the end, um, I will show you the evaluation forms. And for today, we have two forms. One um, belongs to KU library and one um, is the elsewhere evaluation form. I would like to ask you to um, scan them both and do them both. So we can keep the record and um, we can see your um, request and um, uh, we have further idea what we should provide you in, in the future. Um, and many of you guys always ask me um, after the session, where can I find all these materials, right? The slides that I show you, the, the record and everything. So at the end, I will show you how to download the record, how to um, download the handout also, right? Um, it's very straightforward. Basically within two days, you will get the email and um, please check your mailbox. Um, in that email, you will see the links. Um, just follow the links and um, on that website, you can download everything that you need. Please just wait for two days. Just, just that. It's as easy as that. All right. Um, let's see the menu for today. And um, we can um, jump into each um, of the topics um, step by step. So first of all, I would like to um, introduce you to Elsevier. Many of you might know Elsevier already, but um, let's discuss a little bit who is Elsevier. And um, next, I will touch upon um, how to set up the Mandalay, how to start with Mandalay if you don't know Mandalay. Um, next is about um, the information management and followed by the knowledge management, right? Um, what should we do if, you, um, if we would like to manage our resources and manage our knowledge? And last but not least, um, say as you're right and other things that Mandalay can do for you. So um, let's see the first topic first. This is the agenda of today. I hope it's not too much. All right. 
Okay, let's um, see who is elsewhere, right? Um, many of you know elsewhere already, I hope. <laughs> um, elsewhere is the publisher basically, and um, elsewhere has been producing a lot of contents in form of journals and textbooks. Um, when I was young, well, <laughs> it's been a while ago, I, um, I went to the library, search for the books, right? And um, go to the shelf and pick up the books. But right now, especially during this um, COVID pandemic time, um, we hardly go to the library, but you know, librarians are always there for us, helping us and make sure everything is working okay and we can access to these contents. And um, they work hand in hand with the provider like Elsevier. So um, Elsevier also have the platform called Scopus, which you can check the um, bibliography and um, check the quality of the contents, for example, or the author profile and database like Cidaric, where you can download the um, journal contents, right? Or search for the book chapter. So um, it's like the online library for you guys. And elsewhere also have um, program like Mandalay, which is the, um, uh, the program for researcher, right? To um, organize the references. Um, basically it's the reference manager. And apart from the earth, we also have other solutions, right? For um, the engineer and for the doctors or um, for the researcher. But today we will focus on Mandalay and I will touch a little bit on Scopus and Cyderic also. It's really powerful to use them together. So um, I will go step by step and um, you will see um, how to use them um, together and um, they will ease your research workflow. Okay, um, before I will go further, um, I would like to launch the poll. Um, just another way of saying, um, we'll come to the webinar and I would like to um, know who you are. <laughs> um, now you guys know me um, already. Um, I haven't seen you. I, I don't think I have seen you guys before. So let me know who you are. And um, have you ever used Mandalay before? So I try to um, go with the pace that everybody um, can come along with me, right? I don't want to um, leave anyone behind or um, make any one of you feel so sleepy. Okay. Um, I will give you um, a little bit more time to fill this poll, uh, maybe half a minute more. <laughs> okay, almost there. All right, um, let me close the poll and let's see the results together. Okay, um, welcome again. Um, most of us here are students, right? Um, welcome to the webinar and um, I hope this session, this um, knowledge I share with you guys today will be um, helpful for you guys who are going to um, organize the reference and um, later on you're going to write the thesis or the report, right? I hope it will be very, very useful for you. Hope so. Um, also, um, welcome librarian, um, researcher, and also lecturers. Hello, everybody. Um, I hope you are doing well. And um, most of you guys say to me, you haven't used Mandalay before. So um, don't worry about that. Let's find out together for today. Thanks for answering the poll. Okay, um, let's move on. Um, this slide show you that um, there are many, actually there are many um, Mandalay platform available for you and you can choose which one um, works okay and works nicely with your workflow. You don't need to download everything. And um, I will let you know one by one 
um, which Mandalay is for what. So you can make a decision later which one you would like to download to your computer or um, start using, right? Um, let me start with um, the one on the left hand side, right, on the screen. Um, we have Mandalay Web and Mandalay Web Importer. Basically, Mandalay Web is the um, is the website where you can create your account. And basically, this website, this account, right? Once you create your account, you can organize your research. Um, your search, sorry, you can organize your reference from your search and um, put them there nicely. Um, and later on, you can access to them, right? It's the online source, it's your own online library, right? You can um, search for the content and put them there and organize in the way that you can um, later on um, go to them quite easily or um, you can categorize them. Right. The other things, uh, which is called the web importer, um, this is the extension. You can decide whether you want to download it or you don't want to download it. It's up to you. Um, but it's quite useful if you are the regular user of um, Side Direct. The, um, the web importer helps you a lot. And I will show you later um, why it's so um, easy to use web importer when you um, want to use Site Direct and Mandalay together. So um, things that you have to um, keep in mind, if you use Site Direct a lot and you want to download the um, references to your Mandalay, you have alternative to um, download the web importer. It helps you um, if you don't want it because you think it's confusing and don't want so many things on my screen, then it's okay. Um, you still be able to um, download the content from Site Direct and um, link stored con content to the Mandalay web. It's okay. Um, I will leave it up to you, okay? Um, the next one, let's see the, um, the shang in the middle of the screen. Um, we have Mandalay Reference Manager, okay? Um, Mandalay Reference Manager, um, you can access this. Um, to your cloud storage. So basically um, the Mandalay Reference Manager is a very, very small, I would say very tiny program that you need to download on the computer. It allows you to um, connect and sync um, to the web importer. Well, many of you get confused, right? When um, I mentioned it like this, let's imagine you have um, Instagram or um, Facebook account, right? I think many of you have Facebook account or Twitter account, right? So um, once you create the account, you need you just need to go to the website, right? Use any browser, um, type in facebook.com and um, you log in with your um, details, right? Email and password, and you can um, play that social media. But many of you and also, <laughs> also me as well, um, I think, man, um, is, is not efficient. Um, I need to go to browser. I need to remember my password. Um, and it's not look so beautiful on my mobile phone. So um, I tend to download the app, right? I'm just click on the app. It brings me to the social media um, immediately. And if I'm logged in, um, I always on. I always online. I get in touch with my friends quickly. So um, the Mandalay Reference Manager is the same. Um, it's like a small app or small program on your computer. And it lets you sync nicely with the um, web, right? With the account on the web. So if you think, hmm, it can be helpful for me, so you can download it on your computer or on your tablet, right? Um, the things that I need to emphasize is, um, when you do anything with the Mandalay Reference Manager, right? Um, the storage, all the contents here are not on your computer, it's on cloud. So um, please make sure you have um, stable internet connection, right? Like Facebook, if you download Facebook app, right? And you want to play Facebook, you want to access Facebook, of course you need the internet, right? It's the same for Mandalay Reference Manager. If you want to, um, see the reference you download um, two weeks ago and um, read those contents, then you need the internet lab to, to access to that. Um, the next one um, is called Mandalay Desktop. 
this one is slightly, well, not slightly, but it's a bigger program um, that you can download on your computer. This one, um, you have the um, local storage, which means all the contents you download into the Mandalay store on your computer. So if your tablet is super small or the computer not belongs to you, I'm not recommend you to, um, to download this on, on that computer, right? But if it's your personal computer, then yeah, um, I think it's very useful to, to download it on your computer. And it links to the last point on this um, slide. If you would like to use Mandalay site, um, you need Mandalay desktop or Mandalay reference manager, but it's work better with Mandalay desktop. That, that's my opinion, that's my experience. So I would recommend you to download Mandalay desktop if later on you're going to use Mandalay site. And what is Mandalay site? Um, this is the add-on, um, it's the plug-in uh, that you need to download to um, the word processor, Microsoft Word, if you would like to insert the bibliography in your document, right? Um, when you write the thesis and you want to um, cite the reference, um, this is the one that you need to, to download and use. Okay, we have so many versions of Mandalay, right? And now you know them. Um, when should I use the Mandalay, you might ask me. And Mandalay is quite helpful um, during this two step of the research workflow, which is the designing and the writing. It helps you, um, once you find the right reference, you might want to keep them, um, organize them. So later on, you can um, access to them and read them, right? And um, it helps you during writing also. I mentioned Mandalay site already. So um, during writing um, is very useful for you. And um, the Mandalay desktop also, it helps you um, to remind what you um, have read before. So um, it's quite useful during writing step. For um, other step, um, not so much. And um, some people say, well, it, it does help me during planning and the, the idea. Yes, um, if you um, use Mandalay as the um, storage or the repository on your computer, of course, you can go back and um, read and um, synthesize the idea um, once you read the documents that you organize in the Mandalay. Okay, um, now let's move on to the second topic. Um, I would like to show you how to um, set up the Mandalay. Many of you say you haven't used Mandalay before, what should I do, right? Um, so to set up the Mandalay, basically you need to go to this website. Um, I show you here, um, the website is here. Once you have the handout, you can just click on the link and it will bring you to this website. So once you go to this website, um, you can see on the top right, um, create the account, right? So um, if you haven't used um, Mandalay before, um, I, I recommend you to go to um, create the account and go to download to install the Mandalay that you need, any version that you need. Or if you can't remember, right? There are so many um, Mandalay version and um, Mandalay solutions, you can um, check it out at the solutions, right? And um, it will tell you briefly um, what, um, what this Mandalay can do for you and you can select, download the one that you need. Okay, um, the other thing that I need to tell you, um, I need to ask you actually, have you ever used um, Scorpus or Cyrex before? And if you say yes, have you ever created the account before? If some of you say, yes, I have used, let's say Scorpus, I have used Scorpus before and I have um, Scorpus account which means when you log into the score bus, right, you go to the right-hand side, you um, fill in your email and your password, and um, you um, save the search and you um, save the result of your score bus search. Um, that means you have the score bus account or the same um, go for the site direct. So um, in that case, if you have um, score bus or site direct account, actually we call um, elsewhere account. If you have those account, right, you you don't need to recreate the account for Mandalay. Um, you can use the same account and it's easier to sync them together. 
But don't worry if you don't have, just create one for the Mandalay. Or if you want another one for Mandalay, of course you can, you can create it, all right? If you have it already and you want to use the same account, right? You don't want to remember so many emails, so many logins, so many um, password, just go to sign in and log in here, right? Is as easy as that. Okay, so to start the Mandalay, right? Um, you want to create the account, like I say, and log into the Mandalay web. Um, you might want to download the web importer. You might want to download the reference manager or Mandalay desktop, it's up to you, and Mandalay site. So um, if you want to download any of these or all of these, I have embedded the links for you here. So um, once you have this handout, you can just click on the link and download them, okay? Right. So let's see, um, what can I use the Mandalay for? Um, first of all, let's use Mandalay for the information management. Um, if you use Scorpus, right, or the bibliography platform similar to Scorpus, um, you can use Mandalay this way. Um, so for example, if I go on Scorpus, I'm searching for some um, articles, right? And I found this article is quite interesting. I want to keep this article in my reference manager. So later on, I can read, I can um, print it out, discuss with my supervisor and so on. So um, you can just simply click on um, the, um, the buttons here. Um, it says CSV export. So click here and um, Scorpus give you option to, um, to export the document to Mandalay. Or if you use um, other reference manager, like for example, Duckburg or um, EndNote reference manager, you can um, select other options, right? Um, but if you use Mandalay, um, click on Mandalay and the reference will export to your um, Mandalay reference manager or Mandalay desktop, which are the apps, right? Or the programs on your computer, okay? Um, it's very simple. And you just keep doing that once you see um, more articles or book chapters that you would like to add to um, your Mandalay. Um, saves go to SciDirect. If you use SciDirect, um, you found some of nice article you want to add um, to the Mandalay. Um, you, normally, um, you might click download the PDF, right? And read the PDF, keep the PDF in your computer somewhere. Um, I know it's efficient. Um, lots of us would like to read it offline. And I do that a lot. Um, I do download a lot of PDF. But later on, when you um, would like to write your thesis and you need to go back and check the contents, right? The PDF that you save on the computer doesn't link to your um, reference manager and that can give you a little bit of head spin. So um, what I would like to suggest you, um, you go to SciDirect, right? Or any platform that provide a full um, contents like this one. Um, click add to Mandalay in case of SciDirect, right? It's very easy to use SciDirect with, um, uh, with, with Mandalay. So click on this. And if you have the um, web importer, the web importer will pop up and it will ask you, all right, um, do you want to uh, put this into Mandalay, um, this article, right? And also, do you want to affix the PDF of this article into the Mandalay? So if you click here, um, it means it will download um, the, con, uh, the, the bibliographic information of this paper along with the PDF of this paper to your Mandalay. So see if you have a um, web importer is, um, uh, is one click for everything. Um, so it's quite um, easy um, in my opinion. And you can also select um, which folder you would like to um, put this PDF in into the Mandalay. Um, and you can create a folder later. I will show you how to do that. Also, um, with the um, web importer, this paper, right, um, has 88 references. So sometimes when we read um, the paper, right, and we um, would like to add, or we would like to read more um, about the contents they 
um, the researchers cited, right? So those are references of this paper. So in this case, you might want to um, read or add the references into your Mandalay, right? So maybe you think, okay, later on, I might, I might need to read some of these um, to understand better or some of these, these references might be um, very, very useful to your thesis. Later on, I would like to cite them. So um, you can um, use the web reporter to select the um, references that you would like to add to um, Mandalay and um, also add the PDF in the same time. So you might not need um, 88 references. You, you just um, need to click some of them so you can do that. Okay. Um, right, so here um, I tell you exactly what should you do. And um, the web importer also do the other things. Um, it will show up as a little red ribbon on the right hand side like that. Um, if you click on that, you can view the PDF, right? So some of you might say, oh, I don't know, maybe I don't need the PDF, but I would like to see it first, right? Before I download things. So you can see this thing first online. And if you think, oh, right, okay, now it's useful. I, I would like to download to, um, to, to the Mandalay, then um, you can click here, view in Mandalay and um, download the PDF to Mandalay web. So um, for side direct, right, um, using the web importer is very useful. Um, the small difference from um, downloading from Scorpus is when you download the reference from Scorpus, it's go to your Mandalay Reference Manager or um, Mandalay Desktop, the app on your computer, right? So you have that on your computer, either um, on the local storage or on cloud. But if you do it from SciDirect, it will go to um, Mandalay Web, uh, go to uh, Mandalay Web, which is the website online, right? And um, the next question lots of people ask me is, oh, now, my library um, online on the web is not the same as my library on, um, on computer, isn't it? And um, the simple question is yes, um, now it's different, but we can simply um, sync them and make them all update. I will show you um, on the next slide how to do that. So now, um, let's pretend we um, add some of the contents into our Mandalay web, right? Um, so if you log on um, to the Mandalay website with your account, um, you can see your picture here, your name's over here. If you log in, um, click on the library and see what you have on there. So in my case, I have so many paper here, right? And um, what you can do, you can... Um, you can click on the on the reference and explore more and do many other things. Um, you can select on the checkbox here and um, add to the, the folder and things like that. And the other things that you can do with Mandalay Web um, is if you have the contents on your computer, Let's say um, you download the PDF from somewhere, right? Maybe your supervisor sent the PDF to you um, via email, or um, you have download from some of the websites, or you might have, um, let's say you have a note library already in your computer, but now you want to use uh, Mandalay instead, and you want to sync those library together. So for the local storage, right? Um, you can click on this, um, um, add file from computer. Um, you can click all the references and you can click file from computer or add entry manually or import library. So in case of import library, right, um, you need to choose the correct one, which kind of file you want to import to this um, Mandalay library. Um, if you have PDF files stored store somewhere in your computer, you are able to add um, into um, Mandalay web also, or you can add it manually. In case um, you found the reference textbook um, from the library and you cannot find it anywhere on the website, um, so maybe you need to add it manually and um, you can do that by, by clicking here. Okay, 
once you click here, um, just fill all the information and add entry, and that's it. Um, like I say, you can create the collection or create the folder basically. So if you would like to create a new folder, just click new collections, name it. Um, check on the checkbox which contents you would like to, um, sorry, um, put in this new folder, right? Organize them. Um, you can click organize um, and put in the folder that you have already. You can mark as favorite, um, for example, right? So this way you organize your reference nicely and later on when you come and would like to read them, it's easier for you. Um, I have mentioned earlier, right? Now um, your Mandalay Reference Manager or your Mandalay Desktop might not be the same as Mandalay Web and you would like to sync them together. Um, the way to sync is very easy. Um, on the top right of the web, um, or on the um, menu bar of the apps, you can see um, things button. Um, just click on them and um, it will take some time for things to um, get updated. And that's it. Um, everything will sync together nicely. So um, I recommend you to keep syncing your library so um, all the library will be up, up to date. Next part is about the knowledge management. Um, so on Mandalay, um, on Mandalay web and on Mandalay desktop also, you can create the notebook, right? So um, if you would like to do that, you can um, click new note, um, name the notebook, and you can um, type in what is your key learning from this paper, um, which paragraph you think is um, super, super useful and you might want to cite that later on. Um, you can change the color of highlight also, right? Um, you can change the name of the notebook. Um, don't try to confuse yourself. Um, name something that you um, can refer back later easily. Um, like I say, you can type in what is your key finding. Um, if you highlight, right, some of the paragraph in the paper and um, you would like to um, add those paragraphs in your notebook because you think um, you would like to quote that, you can also do that. Just click on um, add to notebook and you will see the things that you type and um, things that you basically copy from the paper um, use different format here, right? So this is just to remind you if you um, writing your thesis and you want to quote this, you need to um, put the marks, write this, right? And don't forget to cite. Or if you don't want to quote it, um, you might want to paraphrase this, right? So um, this is just to remind you. Okay, and um, this is the comparison between um, Mandalay Reference Manager or Mandalay Desktop with Mandalay Web. You can do basically the same thing. Um, you can choose the option to highlight or annotate while you're reading. Um, you can make notes, right? And um, the notes that you make, um, you see the post it on top of the um, text that you um, put the notes on. Um, also, you can highlight, right? And um, next topic is about site as you write. So um, once you read everything, let's say, and you have enough reference to write your thesis, um, you um, now will start writing and would like to um, cite your reference. Um, the things that you need um, is the Mandalay, uh, sorry, uh, Mandalay site. So to download Mandalay site, um, you can do it many ways. You can download directly from um, the website below um, that I gave you. Um, you can go to Mandalay Reference Manager um, at the menu bar, click on Tool and click on um, Install Mandalay Site for Microsoft Word. Or you can go to Mandalay Desktop and go to Tools and click Install um, LibreOffice Plugin. Or um, you can go to uh, Microsoft Word and um, go to the um, Get Add-in section. Right. So, um, Whatever you do, um, once you did it, um, please go to um, Microsoft Word and don't forget to um, check on this tab, the reference. 
um, if you see Mandalay site here, then it's done. Um, you need to log in, by the way. Um, so make sure you log in. So this one will sync to or connect to um, your Mandalay. Okay. So first of all, um, click on this log into Mandalay account, and you can start writing um, freely whatever you want to write. Um, keep writing, keep writing, until you want to um, cite the reference. If you want to cite the reference here, um, you just um, come to Mandalay site, um, search for the reference by author name or keywords or the um, journal titles or maybe article titles, for example. Um, add as much as you need. Some point you might want to um, cite more than one paper, right? So just uh, keep adding that. And don't do anything, um, not just now, um, just leave it like that. Um, keep writing and keep citing, right? Keep doing that until um, you come to the end of your um, thesis or your um, paper, uh, the, the your, your writing paper, right? Um, if you see the names of the author here, then you, you know the reference will be here. So you don't need to worry just now, just keep writing. Okay, right. Um, let's say you um, come to the end of your contents, um, you finish writing. Now um, you want to um, modify your citation a little bit, right? Um, the reference I show here um, show as name of the author. And if you check with the school and the school say, no, this is not the right format. Um, you, you need to use other format and it doesn't look like this. It has to be the number or something like that. You can change the style, right? Click on style and choose the one that correct. Choose the one that you want, right? That's it. And um, the style will be changed automatically. And um, last step is to insert the bibliography. So at the end of your report, you would like to have list of bibliography, right? So um, once you're ready to do that, uh, you simply go to more and click insert bibliography, right? It's in this drop dropdown menu. And this list of bibliography will automatically generate it for you. Some of you say, oh dear, um, I forgot to add some of the reference. Do I need to start all over again? Um, don't need to be worried. Um, you just put the cursor um, where you want to add more reference, okay? And um, do the same as you add the new reference, right? Don't worry that the number is not correct or um, you need to swap it around. You don't need to do that, right? Okay, just add um, more references if you want. And once you have done that, go to more again, go to refresh the references. This number will, um, will run automatically and the list will run automatically for you. It will correct everything for you, right? And I would recommend you to um, keep safe your file um, just in case some um, unfortunate things happen. Okay, um, last topic um, before I go to the Q&A. Um, it's beyond reference manager. What else um, the Mandalay can do for you. If you go to the Mandalay website, um, you will see um, Mandalay data search. Um, this is where some of the researchers um, put their raw data um, on the website. You might say to me, why should they do that? Why should they share the raw data with someone? Um, well, there are many benefits, right? Um, some of the open access ask you to share some of the raw data that you are willing to share and um, and some of the researchers say, well, if I'm going to do that, right, I need to host it somewhere on the public platform or live platform and I, I don't have such website, right? So um, Mandalay provide that, um, that space for you um, and it's free so you can um, share the raw data over there. And if the open access publisher asks you, you can say, Okay, I put the raw data here. You can come and, and have a look and check. Okay. Um, the, um, the other thing is um, some of the paper might say, all right, um, you can show only five pictures and, um, apart, and um, maybe two tables and things like that. Um, so it's quite limited to, to show the data, to show raw data to be 
um, to be frank. Um, and sometimes you feel like, oh, the raw data is very useful, is very informative, and I really want to share the raw data. And I cannot share the raw data in my paper. It would be nice um, to share it somewhere. So um, you can do it like that. You can share it on Mandalay. And um, each of these will have the permanent link, right? So when you write the paper, you can say, um, if you would like to learn more, if you would like to see the raw data, why um, the experiment result is like this, then um, you can go to this website. So you can um, embed the link into your paper. So people can come here and read the raw data if they, um, they are interested in the raw data. Um, for you guys who um, are not going to use this repository, um, you can come and use it as the, um, the search platform. Um, it's just for inspiration, right? So sometimes I come here and I, um, I try to see what are artists doing in terms of presenting their data. Um, they're working on COVID-19 like me and what kind of graphs they use and um, how should I present this set of this data set? So I come here to um, get the inspiration sometime. So you can use it that way too. Um, the other thing is um, Mandalay, um, uh, Mandalay Data Repository um, is the one that I told you. If you want to want to um, share the raw data, you can come here and uh, create the data set. So it's quite straightforward. Um, whenever you have time, I um, recommend you to um, have a look. It will be useful for you um, one way or another. And last but not least, um, after today, if you have any questions, of course, you can come to me. And um, if um, I'm not available for you because I'm on holiday or I'm, I haven't answered your email yet and um, you're in hurry and you want to um, get on with your work, there are many options you can um, ask for help. You can go to mandalay.com guides and um, go to the relevant tools that you um, have question to ask. So let's say if you would like to download Mandalay site and it doesn't work, so please click on this and, and um, read the FAQ. But if it still doesn't work at all and you would like to talk to someone, of course you can. You can go to this website, um, stillwithelsevere.com and go to Mandalay. Um, if you um, go for the further assistance, um, you can email to talk to um, our call center or you can chat with them, right? So they, they kind of um, answer your question immediately if you would like. Um, so I hope this will be helpful for you guys. And um, I have the list of um, useful links here for you. You can check later on. Um, I come to the end of my presentation. So um, before I go to the Q&A, um, I would like to thank you guys for having me today. And of course, I would like to thank Crasesa University and especially Crasesa University Library. Um, without them, we don't have a session like this today, right? And um, if you want any other um, topics, um, in the webinar, um, please let me know. And I'm going to launch another poll actually, um, but the list on the screen is just for your inspiration. If you guys need any help on other topics in the research workflow, just let me know and um, I will try to um, assist you if I can. So um, for that, I would like to launch another poll. Um, let me see. Where is the poll? Um, and if you can please let me know um, what would be other topics that you may want to explore um, or in, in other trainings or webinar or maybe workshops. <laughs> you can choose more than one. Um, I will give you about one or two minutes to answer the poll. Meanwhile, if you have any question, please feel free to type in the Q&A. Let me, let me see um, in the Q&A if you guys um, ask me anything.
Okay. Um, thanks for the question. Um, if you use Mandalay site, right, and um, you um, you found later that oh, I make mistake. I shouldn't cite this. I would like to delete it. <laughs> um, you just simply delete the reference that you don't need. And again, click the refresh the reference that refresh the, the data, right? Um, and the bibliographic list will be updated for you as simply as that, right? Make sure um, everything is okay. Once you delete it, um, see if it's the correct one that you deleted, right? Um, so it's quite simple. For the format, right? Um, please check with your um, graduate school or um, check with the library. Um, which format you should use. And I know there are many formats, right? Um, some format is the number only, or some format is the um, author names come first, right? And um, the years come next, and um, maybe the name of the books. So you need to know the name of the format, right? Um, once you know, you um, select the correct one in the Mandalay. Um, if you don't know um, what the format is called, please check with your school and they should be able to recommend you, okay? Right, thanks for the question. Um, is, um, I think it's very useful and it's a good question. Thanks for that. Um, okay, this is another good one. If you want to use Mandalay, do we need to uninstall EndNote? Um, you don't need to. Um, you can keep two library um, separately. Um, they, they may not, uh, if you don't want them to um, hold the same content, it's all right. Or if you want to um, update them to be the same, you can do so. But um, in the same computer, you can have both, right? Um, you never know um, which one you, um, are more familiar with and might, might want to use at the end. So you can keep them both, but um, when you do um, thesis writing, when you um, writing and citing at the same time, I recommend you to, um, to use only one reference manager. So for example, if you want to link EndNote to um, word processor, right? Please just use EndNote at that point. Um, don't don't sign into Mandalay or um, you make the word processor getting a little bit confused. So um, choose one, um, the choice is yours. Oh, um, I see. Um, sorry, I misunderstood you. Um, you want to change the reference like that. Um, right. Um, if, um, well, I think you need to do it manually, right? Because comma, comma, in bracket 2000, um, you want to do this only once, right? In, in your um, writing. And for others um, references you want to um, keep it as um, everything in the bracket right so for for that one you might need to do it manually um, I'm not so sure if you can choose more than one style in in the in one in one writing I'm not so sure about that um, it's a good question actually I I recommend you to go to um, the FAQ or chat with our um, help desk. But in this meantime, um, after this session, actually, I um, I will try to search for the information for you. Thanks for the question, and and sorry, I don't have the clear answer for you. Uh, right. Okay. Let me see the poll. Um, before I go back to the Q and A again, don't worry. <laughs> Um, okay, many of you say um, organizing research data. Um, okay, we can do the workshop on that because right now I think you guys need to um, go back home <laughs> and, and download the Mandalay first and um, get familiar with that. And we can um, do the workshop about organizing research data later. Um, 
and what next uh, what else um understanding type of journal yeah is good one um right uh thanks for that um okay i will talk to um the librarians and also elsewhere team if we can um come up with a workshop for you guys so thanks so much for this um uh recommendation okay um let me go back to the q and a um okay before i go to the q and a um i would like to show you um how to uh download the video um and also the handout so um after two days um you will get the email to your inbox um, click on the link in that email. Um, it will bring you to this website. It looks um, similar to this one. Um, you just go to um, presentation deck and download the presentation deck here or go to resource and um, basically copy the password here. Um, click on the arrow here and um, you can watch the video once again or download the video. Okay. And here's the survey link. Um, please um, scan the QR code and um, answer the survey for us. Um, if some of you um, watching this webinar on the mobile phone, I know it's not very easy for you guys. So let me copy the link for you here and I will put in the chat box for you. Hang on. <laughs> you guys who can um, scan the QR code, um, please feel free to do that. This one here. Okay. Okay. Um, screen. We have more Q and A. Oh, cool. Um, uh, if you start the sentence with the author name, right? Um, for example, this person say something, something, right? Um, you cannot use Mandalay. You need to type, and um, at the end of the sentence, you can um, cite the Mandalay. You can add a reference at the end of the sentence. Okay, um, any more questions? Or if you want me to um, show you anything live, just let me know. You still have time. <laughs> so um, ask me any questions. Any further questions? Um, if, well, um, I know you asked me about how to write things, right? If it's still not clear, um, don't don't feel shy. You can you can email me, and I I can help you with that um, and look into detail if you need my help. Uh, so that's me. Mandalay can only be used in for elsewhere article, right? What if you have other article from other journals to cite? It's a good question. Um, Mandalay can be used um for others um 
publishers articles also, right? It's not limited to elsewhere. So um, if you use Scopus, I know Scopus is elsewhere product, but on Scopus, there are many um, journals and books, chapters and articles, right? Conference paper also from many um, different publishers. And you can also um, add those into Mandalay, right? The same way um, I show you that um, we, we add elsewhere article into the Mandalay. But um, if you mean the full text, right? For full text, I use um, SciDirect um, to add the reference and also add the PDF into Mandalay. In this case, right, if you go to, let's say, um, uh, one of the website that the publisher hosts the full text and you would like to add the information into Mandalay, you also can. Um, I think um, for other publishers, you need to go to um, references or maybe site and um, you will see the drop down menu. It might ask you um, which kind of file you want to download. If you don't see um, Mandalay um, in the drop down list, um, you can uh, select the one um, with, I think it's the CSV option. Let's us go back. Um, to one of the slides. Let me find that for you um, and be sure which one that you need. Okay, so if you go to other website, right, and you would like to download that information into Mandalay and um, the PDF also, um, you need to do two things. First of all, if you would like to download the information, right, um, you can um, select from that list if um, the file end with XML, BIB, or RIS, then it works with Mandalay. You can use that. Um, download to your computer. And once it's on your computer, right, you um, export to your Mandalay. However, um, it might not provide you the web importer, right? And you might want to um, add the PDF also. So you can do it manually. Um, you can go to the, uh, the, the article, the, the reference on the Mandalay, and um, you kind of drag and drop the um, PDF into that. So that's the option allow you to do that also. Um, the other way, um, you might be able to add it manually, but I'm, I would not recommend because you need to fill lots of information here, but um, it's doable if you have quite a few of them. Um, from other website, you can also do this, but I, I hope it will be the last choice that you need to do that. All right, I, I hope it's helped. Okay. Anything else that I can help you? Okay. okay. Thanks, you. Thanks you too for joining us. Okay. Could Biatida, do you have anything to announce? Um, okay. The last slide, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> On behalf of the Katesa University Library, uh, we would like to appreciate you, Kun Gawalin, for the knowledge given and thank you for your participants and attention. And okay. we are help you with the searching for information as well as other research support service. We are online at the uh, a librarian chat on the library website and the uh, live official of the library. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, thank that's you. another question, right? Let me ask, um, answer this question. Um, the difference between EndNote and Mandalay. Thanks for asking. I, I forgot to explain. Um, elsewhere um, has Mandalay and another provider has EndNote. Both of them um, do the same thing. They are the reference manager. Um, so basically, they, they work the same way. They... Um, they are there for you to um, keep the references, um, holding the PDF, 
and you might be able to make notes and do the highlight right on those um, programs. Um, it does be made by different company basically. So um, you can choose either of that and the idea um, of using it is the same, right? So it's the same thing. Um, choose the one that um, you're familiar with and you feel comfortable to work with. Um, when I was a student, I, I also used other things also. Um, and um, half of my PhD passed and I feel like, okay, um, I'm not really good at this program and I, I want another alternative. So I download another program and I transfer the library to another program and it seems to work fine. So um, it's really up to you which one that you would like to use. Okay. Thanks so much, guys. Um, I hope um, you come away with something useful and I would like to wish you all the best for your study and your research. And um, last but not least, I have to say, please, 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 um, Keep yourself safe, right? Take care of yourself, be safe, and take care of one another during this time. And I wish in near future we can see each other at Crossessa University. So that's all for today. Um, hopefully we'll see each other um, again later. Thank you so much.